Hello and welcome back. Today we have a very important healing that we need to do together. It has been such a transformational time these past few years, honestly. But right now, at the time that I'm filming this, we are coming into the year 2022. And from my own intuitive understanding, as well as all of the things that I'm hearing from astrologers and other intuitives, 2022 is going to be like transformation on a level that we have not even experienced yet, which might be shocking, <laughs> considering just how much we have been through in the past couple of years. <sighs> so I wanted to do this healing with you and I to really ground ourselves before before the new year hits, although if you're watching this even in the beginning of 2022 or the middle, <laughs> this healing will help clear whatever you've been holding on to in the past, and you're going to be ready for the very real and very physical manifestations that will be taking place in 2022. So, buckle up, buttercup. <laughs> We're gonna do some some pretty amazing healing together today. So thank you for letting me just sort of see you and get to know your energy in this beginning. But I want to start with a smoke cleanse, so let me get that ready for you. So we're gonna be using this beautiful Palo Santo stick. Let me just get our fire going. I think I've said this before, but I love to watch the flame as it transforms this wood into that sacred smoke. Alright, we need to make sure this one is really, really good and smoky. Death and growth together, but it's 
it's like 2020 was a big destruction time where all of our old foundations, or most of them, the false ones, were cleared away. And then 2021 is where seeds started to take root. The seeds started to take root. So physical, physical roots have been happening and physical changes have been happening within us that we have felt and known and it's been good. But 2022 is when suddenly that seed turns into a bush and you're like, where did this bush come from? The physical manifestations have seemed personal up until now and kind of quiet within us, quiet but powerful within us. And 2022 is like very physical, very big physical things are suddenly going to be present because of all of that work we've been doing to to plant a new way and to receive new information and those roots are stable and strong enough now to grow a tree and bear some serious fruit so because of that we really just can't have any of these remnants of these old patterns from from your lifetime so i'm just gently going through your seventh chakra moving this energy and making sure that this seventh chakra feels strong and safe and ready to trust the new information because that is what can be sometimes difficult for us is we don't even though we know that some of these limiting old beliefs are bad for us they're so familiar so familiar that they feel more trustworthy <laughs> and the new information is so sometimes scary because it's unknown it's unknown like can i really live to that level can i really embody this person that inside I know I am. Can I really live that way permanently for the rest of my life and not have any of these old paradigms affect me? It can be a scary question, but the answer to that question is actually yes. You can be the person that you know that you are and you already are that person it's just living it inwardly and outwardly and trusting all of the information, all of the spiritual downloads that you're going to get. Trusting all of that as, um, as what's really true for you and you don't need to doubt it. So, great job. We're going to be, again, downloading kind of a lot of information Really be gentle with yourself and relax during your session. Relax, relax, relax. You, all you have to do is relax. That's what's so kind of funny about this sometimes is we think we need to be like doing a lot of things in order to become this person that we would like to be. comes in just relaxing and settling into the truth. Just relax and breathe and settle into the truth. And then it's a very natural progression that you just become who you're meant to be. You don't need to force it or push or work really hard. That's, that's the old stuff. The old stuff wants you to work hard and prove something. We're not doing that in 2022. Things are going to happen quickly, but effortlessly in 2022. So, anyway, let's get into I have a few different crystals I'd like to use on you. And I think I'm going to start by just continuing to clear some energy with my favorite little selenite wand. Oh, I got some, some ash on it from the from the smoke cleanse. So maybe some of that smoke cleanse energy is going to be coming into this 
as well a continuation of the smoke cleanse so I'm actually going to stand up because I really want to work this behind you because so much of that subconscious stuff can live behind you any of that old deep deep stuff can be behind you because the energy you keep behind you is um is secretive and more subconscious and kind of unknown to your conscious mind and I really want to get into that so is it okay if you just relax right here and I'm gonna stand up and kind of work work behind you okay cool okay so I want to keep your energy balanced here so I'm gonna keep one hand sort of in front of you to hold the energy while I work this selenite wand first above your head. So just relax and breathe and notice if you can feel this selenite wand kind of working its way around you. shame 
feel really pleasurable. This energy, it, it really wants to be recycled. You're actually doing a service to this old energy by allowing it to leave because when you release this energy, it gets to be recycled and recreated into something new again. As Einstein said, energy cannot be created or destroyed, which is one of my favorite things that I was reminded of recently. And I love it because it reminds me that everything in this universe has been the same energy since the beginning of time, but we've just changed and recycled and morphed the energy. So all of this physical stuff that I'm made of, my ring, my other ring, this stone, all of the energy within me and all these things I'm holding has existed forever, just like you. But you've changed so many times in this universe. You've been so many things and the energy within you that is ready to go, it needs to go so that it can become the next thing that it's supposed to be. Energy is just constantly being recycled and reused and transformed. So, that is exciting to me and I think it can help you to release when you remember that you're not only doing a service to yourself, but a service to all of the energies within you that want to leave it that are no longer a match for you, they get to be transformed when you release them. Everybody wins. <laughs> Great job. I can tell that you are releasing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot with this stuff. This is a big session we're doing, and I encourage you to come back to this whenever you need, because I think things are going to change so quickly in 2022 that you might need to be regrounded in yourself. I know I will be <laughs> a lot, just to keep up with the changes that are coming, and it's good that we have each other support. Great. Okay. Okay, so the next stone that I would like to use on you is this beautiful piece of pyrite that I have used in another um, recent video, but it feels right to use it As I said in that video, pyrite is often um, called fool's gold, and so people can sometimes mistake that it's not valuable because it's just fake gold, but pyrite on a metaphysical level is an amazing protection stone, and it really supports the third chakra in particular. The third chakra is your solar plexus, of course you can't see, but it's the um, chakra right beneath your heart and your upper stomach and your solar plexus. So I am just going to work this through because it feels right to keep using this on you. I think you need to feel really, really strong in who you are moving forward. And the more protection that you can keep in your energy, the better that you are going to keep, keep trusting yourself and moving forward in whatever way, in whatever way you are meant to. So, I'm just going to move this through you now that we've cleared out so much of the old programming and really updated so much of just the information and the energy of your physical body, but also your energetic body and your chakras. I just want to keep moving this through so that all of those spaces 
that we emptied out are going to be filled with this beautiful, strong protection. Even just holding this stone or looking at it, don't you feel the solidness of it? Because I really do. It just feels, just holding it, I feel like powerful and I feel just confident. Just like that natural, like, oh, I am, I am solid in myself kind of feeling. So I really want to, I really want to instill that in you. Okay. Okay, so working this also down your back, down all of those places.
Rest.